Hey there everyone, it's Haz here and today I have a special treat for us all as there's been an amazing salmon run clip floating around the community from the Japanese fishers concerning mothership waves where they managed to casually collect 90 plus eggs in a single wave. So I'll try to introduce the method and also show exactly how it's being done and how you could also do it yourself if you get a team together. This official footage is from Rainy on Twitter where their team demonstrates the strategy so make sure to check them out. But then I decided to ask for some assistance from players and we attempted to replicate this mothership wave to the best of our ability and it's incredibly fun even though we did not manage to get 90 eggs ourselves due to some further optimization needed and also potential egg lag. But let's see what it's all about, shall we? As you know, during Mothership Waves, the Mothership spawns Chinooks out of its top and they travel around the stage with their salmonid boxes that spawn more lessers. But if you split these Chinooks, they drop your golden egg. There also comes a point, well twice to be precise during this wave, when the Mothership flies over the basket and tries to steal all your eggs away and the team has to shoot the Mothership away in order to rescue the basket and allow the team to deposit even more golden eggs. And that is pretty much the gist of the Mothership Wave, right? Now what this strategy does is it exploits the simple fact that while the mothership is on the basket, it spawns Chinook still out of its top that drop you golden eggs, but it's much closer now to the players and with specific positioning and weapons, you're able to reach the top of the mothership and splat every single Chinook coming out of it instantly, gathering eggs for your team right next to the basket. In this scenario, it is played on Sockeye Station where it's as simple as it can be with the longest range shooter, the Jet Squelcher. And I haven't tested it, but I'm not even sure it's possible to do it with another weapon since you need a reliably good fire rate and a very long range with good ink efficiency to reach the top of the mothership. The idea basically is that the team does not gather a single egg throughout the wave, only gather them near the basket and instead of shooting the mothership down when it arrives, they let it stay on the totally empty basket, stealing nothing. While the Jet Squelcher player keeps rhythmically shooting at the Chinooks coming out of the mothership from the top of Sockeye Station's tower, preventing any eggs from escaping. Meanwhile, the rest of the team can freely collect the rest of the eggs hanging around the map closer to the basket and also splat all the snatchers that try to take away your eggs, which is pretty simple since if all the Chinooks are being shot down by the Jet Squelcher, technically you have nothing else to do but collect eggs. This goes all the way until there's like only 30 seconds left of the wave, when the team finally splats the mothership away and then proceeds to collect the massive amounts of eggs hanging around the basket that they collected, but also fell from the top of the mothership to the very same spot. This means at the very least there's like 60 plus eggs lying around the basket to collect, and with proper management and coordination, this can mean over 90 plus eggs if done properly that your team has 30 seconds to collect and win the wave, which can be very much done. Though depending on the region, egg lag can slow you down a lot, making this process harder, but either way, 60 to 70 plus eggs is very much doable with even little practice with a single mothership wave doing this. So this has been the crazy mothership strategy that's been flying around the whole community for days now and after doing it myself, I can say this is extremely fun but also quite niche unfortunately as you need a full team to do so and the proper weapons as well, otherwise it won't exactly work the same way or can even damage freelance attempts so only do this with a proper team. The most fun part I think is honestly for the shooter, since the rhythm to shoot the Chinooks coming out of the top is pretty fun to follow and it's very very satisfying to see them get splatted immediately knowing you will get all those eggs. And the gameplay is really like a rhythm game here with some ink management and proper aiming that I had a lot of fun practicing and it's probably my favorite part. For the others as I said during the whole wave the beginning is the most important part where you have to collect as many eggs from the Chinooks near the basket and prevent any boxes from landing so that when the mothership attacks the stage remains clear and safe for everyone to collect eggs and prepare for the final 30 seconds rush. Fun fact, this strategy, or at least a part of it, has also been used by some players during Big Run using a crap tank to similarly shoot out Chinooks out of the mothership and gather masses of eggs in one wave, and especially if a team manages to get a high tide mothership wave when there isn't really a lot of space that you need to worry about to gather Chinooks and eggs, this strategy is an absolute monster. Either way, that is the amazing Mothership Wave strat that got a lot of attention recently and I hope that you all now understand how it's being done and what it's all about. I can certainly recommend everyone to try to do it at least once with a team, as it's just really, really entertaining, but overall, it's still pretty niche with a lot of setups, so 
don't stress too much about it. If you like this video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel for future Salmon Run content as I do a lot of tips and guides that might help you more. Thank you so much for watching everyone, hope you like this and I'll see you the next time.